Ron. Um, so I know that for a while now, a lot of you have been waiting to see this four-way battle between the purple pods that we've got. The Law uh, Supremo, that's Intensity 10. We'll run through all the details in a minute. The Law Supremo, the Cafe Verona from Starbucks, made by Nespresso. Um, the Arpeggio Capsule, normal Nespresso Capsule. And the Altissimo Virtuo Capsule. Um, so let's have a look at the details before we start the pour. The intensity on the low, why, well, first of all, why would we be wanting to do this? Well, obvious reasons, probably to save money. Because if you maybe like, if you like the arpeggio, but you're thinking I might want to save a bit of money, like you can pick these up for £2.50 for 10 in the supermarket. So I got both the Supremo and the Cafe Verona from Starbucks for £2.50 for 10 pods. That's each, not together, each. So it worked out 25 pence a pod each, uh, which is obviously a lot cheaper than the arpeggio capsules or the altissimo. Um, so the law is intensity 10. It's a compatible original capsule, not the Virtuo. It's, it's listed as being vigorous and spicy. And this is what's interesting is they are all purple, but they do have the differences in the way they're described. So vigorous and spicy, dark chocolate cacao, like notes coming through, and that seems to be present on a lot of them, that cacao sort of notes. Um, it says it's woody and, and it's got nutty flavour as well. Uh, it's, it's supposed to have a full-bodied crema and it's there's not a lot of origin, uh, webs on the website there's not a lot of info as to the origin of the beans as to where they come from, which you do get with the Nespresso capsules. So moving on just to the Starbucks um, Cafe Verona, that one's intensity 10 again, um, original compatible pod. I don't know whether these have got different ratings by the way, because some go to like it may still be a nine in comparison to what Nespresso do, if you know what I mean. Or this could still be a nine compared to that. It's just like a bit like Nike and Adidas, you know, the size of the shoes. They're a little bit different, aren't they, in the sizes? So it could be like that with intensity. So yeah, intensity 10. It's an original, again, compatible capsule, but they are made by Nespresso. So you can recycle those through Nespresso. You can recycle these through Lore. It's well balanced, it says. This is just what it says, uh, with a rich dark cacao texture and it's listed as being roasty sweet. So remember we said about this one spicy and this one roasty sweet. Um, lack, in, again, a lack of information on the website really as to the origin of the beans. I'm not quite sure where they're from. Um, and I'll, I'll just let you know the secret now. I, I didn't want to just taste them once on here and try and make a judgment. So I have been trying to taste them throughout the week to get a really good view on it. Um, and I've got to say, so far, just I'll be tasting them again now, but the lower, I did find it spicier um, than the others, that, that spicy edge. So it's got it correct in the way it's listed. Um, the Cafe Verona, I didn't really pick up myself too, I'll, maybe I'll pick it up this time, but I didn't pick up too much sweetness, but I did pick up, I felt it was roastier than the arpeggio. So lower was spicier, that felt a bit more roasty, a bit, um, yeah, roasty, uh, than the arpeggio. Whereas the arpeggio, I just found as a, a real rounded, balanced coffee. Um, not really on either scale, but just really nice. It's one of my favourite capsules, the arpeggio. That's why I'm doing this, actually. I really, I've really, i liked it since day one. I, found, I, I remember in the popular uh, Nespresso capsule video we did, I think I said it's a coffee you just can't have any arguments with. I, I don't think... I'll be surprised if many people dislike it. If you dislike it, let us know. Um, but I'd be surprised. Uh, maybe it's just too roasty for you. I don't know. Maybe it's too uh, too dark for you. You might like like a veluto or something a lot lighter. Anyway, shut up, Adam. Get on with it. <laughs> um, that's an intensity nine. It's a, an original capsule. Not it's not a compatible one. It's by Nespresso Arpeggio. Intense and creamy. I'd say it's right listed at that. Now we get a bit more information on the website as to the actual individual. Um, flavours have come through. So we get bitterness is listed at 4 out of 5, acidity 2 out of 5, body 4 out of 5, which is full bodied isn't it, heading towards full bodied, and roasting 4 out of 5. Now when we talk about body, this is something I've been learning about recently, it's talking about that feel in your mouth, you know, that you get the texture of the coffee inside your mouth and the only, the way, I could, only way I could describe it really is like if you have a light beer and then you have like a Guinness or a stout, they're both alcoholic, you know, they're both um, possibly similar percentages, 
but they feel completely different in your mouth, don't they, when you're drinking them. One will feel light and the other one will feel really thick and dense and creamy. And that sort of thing, that's what we're talking about with body, but I'm still learning. And please feel free to give me a better explanation of body. I'm just doing this on taste to see if any of these are worth buying versus these original ones, really. That's the idea of the video. So then we move on. But well, we haven't quite finished yet. We get more information on the origin of the beans as well from Nespresso. So it says the, the best of South and Central American Arabicas. Um, and then it, with a fruity or malted profile. And then it's supposed to have cacao notes and woody hints coming through. So that's the arpeggio capsule. Finally, let's move on to Altissio. Intensity 9. It's a virtual capsule, not for the original machines. It's a blend of South American Arabica, but it also has some Brazilian Robusta in it, which gives it a full body texture. Um, and I've got to say, I, I, I've really got to say, like tasting them, when we tasted this one, the body on it, you could really feel it was more, it was more full bodied to us than the arpeggio. Um, and I wondered, I wondered if it was the Robusta that's in it. It doesn't say it's got Robusta in this, it might have, or Robusta, whatever you want to say, I'll just say Robusta with my Northern accent. Um, but yeah, I wonder also, could it be that there's actually more coffee in the pod? I'm not sure if there's more, it, it's a bigger pod, but it's flatter, so I'm not sure if they're the same, but obviously if there's more coffee in the pod, that might make it more full-bodied as well. Um, but again, you know, if you've got experience with that, feel free to leave a comment. Um, so where do we get to? Full-bodied and creamy, robusta, and it says it's full of roasty notes and creamy cereal notes. So that's the information about the coffees. Let's uh, start pouring them, just so you can see the pour, see how dark the roast is, and see if you like the look of it. Get these machines going. I've decided, uh, I mentioned in the video the other day, that I wasn't sure whether to pour <coughs> like them all on the Satis machine, and lay them out side by side, one by one. But I actually felt in the end, it's probably better to just get them all going at a similar time and then the crema we can see at a similar time, them dissolving together or being created together. So this is the lower, so the teaser's warmed up. Let's give it a pour. It's the lower. I'll now quickly set off the Daffy Verona and the Pixie. So we'll move across a little bit now to the cafe room. We'll revisit the law in a minute, don't worry. Got the arpeggio going. The arpeggio scope a little bit short there actually. So let me see if I've got another, another one. So the arpeggios come up a little bit short, I think because I've just refilled the tank with water um, and it has come up a little bit short, so I'm going to be honest about that. However, if you're watching this video, I think it's probably because you're wanting to put other ones against the arpeggio. So I will be doing a review, an independent, uh, a separate review of the arpeggio, but you can trust me on this one that it's one of my favourite coffees. I drink it all the time. Um, and it's, it's a, I would describe it as a very mixed, this will probably be more ristretto, a bit sweeter than it would usually be. Yeah, it's not a massive difference, but it's a very well-rounded, well-balanced coffee. Um, I don't really, I do get those cacao notes coming through, um, but it, I think there's just a little bit of water was not left in the machine, so it should have come up a bit higher than that. So I apologize for that, I'm being honest. Um, but it's going to be a bit difficult to redo the whole video now. Um, the As we see the Altissio, looking at that, the Virtuo, that, the crema on that is more foamy. People would call it foam more than crema. Um, but I will taste it now. It 
see again what I found with the Altissio is it is it's very it is very full bodied and it's very creamy in texture but I do I, I say it all the time about virtual coffees and I feel like I broke a record but I personally find them more bitter than any of the capsules really that I've tried from the original uh, every single capsule I seem to try I seem to get a bitter edge and I have descaled it recently um, I don't know if any of you have found that but please if you comments will be useful to everyone else um, as to how you find whether they're a little bit more bitter but yeah it, it sort of spoils it a little bit for me because I get just get that edge coming through afterwards whereas with the arpeggio I do get the flavours coming through um, so if we move on now to the Cafe Verona you see that one I find if I just put it against the Altissio I mean the arpeggio let's just try one more time this other one So it does have a bit more of a sweetness to it actually, to be fair, it, it does, um, and it's body, I think I'd say these two are quite similar in body, I, I've, I've got to try it one more time, let's say that feel, mouth feel, I'm not like pretending to be an expert, I'm just giving you my opinion, that's it, maybe a little bit more body in this one, maybe just a little bit, um, but they both taste quite similar but this one I find it a little bit more I do find it has that roasty extra roasty more roasty than sweetness actually it's it, I do find this one this is what I've come across all week we tried them and we tried them doing exactly what I'm doing now and I just find that that has a roastiness it's not a bitterness like you get from the virtual it just feels a bit more roasty that's the only way I can describe it and um, but it's supposed to isn't it um, and now we'll try the low supremo See so if I put that against that. See, I find that is a little bit less creamy myself. I found it a little bit like a little bit, just only slightly less body, just a little bit more watery in the feel of it. Um, but it is spicy. That's what I get from the lore. I just get a spicier sort of edge to it. Spiciness from the lower, definite roastiness from the Verona. So this one will be probably slightly sweeter than it should be. It's just well rounded, the arpeggio. It's still, the, it tastes similar. It must have only been a little bit less than it should have been. Um, a round, well rounded, it's all got good body. This one's slightly not as, as full bodied. These two taste quite similar, and this one, although the Altissio, although it's it's a fuller body, it's creamier. All I tend to get is bitterness coming through. Uh, if I were to rank them as to which ones I like the most, it'd probably still be for me Arpeggio number one. I'm gonna have to try these two again. See, I quite like the spiciness of the low. So I'd probably, even though it's got a bit less body, if you want body, probably the, um, probably this one, and if you like it roasty, probably that one. This is just my own little order as to what I prefer. I would probably go arpeggio number one. Nothing's really overtook it. Um, low second, because I, I quite like that spicy edge. It's something different, something you don't often taste. Um, the Verona, was it the Verona? Yeah, Verona third, just because I found it has a, a good body on it, um, and it's roasting. I don't mind roastiness, but I prefer I prefer the spiciness of that. And with it, although this is really full body, full body the Altissio. Um, personally, all I get is is bitterness coming through on it when I'm drinking it as an espresso, and I don't really want that. I want to I want to taste a lot of the flavors. So that's. The best I can really do for you. I'm, I, people have asked me to do this video. 
Um, and that's the order I put them in. So I hope, you've, I hope it's just been useful to you in some way. I'll make sure if I do one of these again that all the machines, I think this one had just ran out and I refilled it and I forgot to run a shot of water through. So that's what's happened there. Um, but I know the arpeggio so well. If it was one of these, I'd redo the video because I, you know, I haven't tasted them as often. But I've had this for five years, so I do know that I love the arpeggio. And um, one thing, a comment I did mention, I've only got four machines and I've only got four cups. But he asked me about these uh, fine coffee club ones, because they're a lot cheaper budget-wise. Um, they're really cheap. I think they're about 17 pence a capsule or something. I'll look it up. Uh, but I didn't have time to, I couldn't do it with this video because it would just be too many. Um, but what I will do, I got that one, the dark roast espresso. I got the Colombian espresso. And I also got the intense espresso. So I'll try and match those up to three different pods. I'll do this video again another time, like in a similar way, if you've liked it. Um, I'll try them against different uh, Nespresso capsules, possibly introduce some similar uh, compatible ones again. And I'll make sure every machine has enough water in it before we start. Uh, but thanks for watching, hope you found it useful. Uh, bye for now.